LaBelle had a baby with another woman while you all were dating. Please tell me what happened. <sighs> yes, he did. Um, I had saved up like every little penny I had from working at Starbucks to help him to move into a place closer to his job. But I couldn't move in because it was about 20 miles away from where I worked and gotcha. I didn't have a car at the time. So he moved in and um, I guess he felt the need to bring someone else in. Um, one night I called him, said he was going to play Xbox with his friends, which didn't sound believable. Then I asked him you know, if I could come and he told me no. And he's never told me I couldn't come anywhere with him before. I immediately hopped in a car. That's when you knew something oh, I was knew. wrong. I yeah. knew. Hopped in the car, drove out there, and um, sat for a minute. And sure enough, here comes a little raggedy car. Uh, peek in the car. OK, well, let's just keep in mind that um, when she did come out and then she saw the individual sitting in the car, uh, I had no, I had no idea that that person was out there. But when he she had came met in, her. so you mean you didn't mean for them to interact with each other, but you were cheating? <laughs> no, yes. no, 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 no. Okay, that not, not, nothing that took place. But you it, had met her. I had met her at the yes. bar previously the night before. Sang songs to her karaoke. Yeah, I didn't get a song. I never got a song. Okay. But uh, what happened? Like, why did, why did, how did it end up being cheating and then you having a child? Because they didn't cheat right. It's called wrapping it up, and okay. they didn't do that. <laughs> I'm wondering, you know, if you ever really took the time to apologize for what happened with you, you know, essentially starting a family with someone else. Do you think you could maybe turn to her and just sort of say that thing that she probably needs to hear, even if she's heard it before, that she may need to hear again before she could really feel confident going forward, you know, in terms of you being really sorry about what's happened? That's sweetheart. As I told you time and time again, that I regret that. I don't regret the fact that I have a son because I love him. But I wish he was yours. I wish that it was you who gave birth to him. And it kills me every time, you know, we, we have a discussion or if I think about it or if his name comes up, I think about it hard and it kills me. But you are the one for me and I can't picture myself with anyone else. Time to go to my decision. Please stand. Kristen and Lavelle, you guys are deadlocked.